As you advance in your coding career, you're going to think, hmm, how can I make my life easier? It's our job to not only just always come up with solutions and Google it, we want to make our life easier permanently, and we can do that by coming up with a function or a little treasure chest, I like to call it. Recently, me and my mentee, shout out to my mentee, we came up with a little function that really helped us finish our playlist app, and a function that maybe could help you with your project that you're doing now. My name is Phil, I became a senior developer at the age of 30. If this video was useful to you, please share and like, and maybe share in the comments a little piece of code that you use repeatedly in your career. So the story story behind this function, we we're making an app and we we're hitting like these third party APIs like Spotify or random user or YouTube search API or whatever it is, right? And those have really big responses, right? I'll just give you an example. Like for example, it's through random user .me API. This object is huge. If you really think about it, I'm going to view source. I'm going to take this one object here without the seed or the info. So that's like one object. And if I take it into my JSON viewer, it's a pretty big object, right? So it has around a gender name and it's some nested fields. It has nested objects and, you know, writing this whole TypeScript file out was, is going to take some time, right? Because you're going to have to research it and then kind of look at it. And I'll, I will run it on an example of this. So. We wrote this function to kind of, if you can just send in an object and then it could spit out some types file for you to kind of like put into your file, right? So I thought it was pretty useful. I thought it saved a lot of time. There probably are some other NPM packages that do it way better, but this was our implementation and I thought it was pretty interesting, right? So it goes like, it started out with this function type getter and then it passed an object, right? And right now I'll just delete this guy and I will delete this and I'll put in maybe that const random user response and then that to that object and I'll just save it. So let me just uh, explain this function really quick. Here, let me just put some comments. So it's a payload. It's an object that comes in and object and then returns object with keys as types. It returns an object. Now you go function type getter and then it uh, instantiate the let types. So it gets set and then if the type of so I get the type of at the key. If it's an object, I do this meet of the app and then else I can just uh, map it to like a string number or a boolean. So the first check I have is, is it an array? right? If it's not an array, I use recursion on the type getter at that payload key. And then I make the uh, type keys and then I add the object types. So that'll recurse the function and then until it exits and then until it hits a return or a base case. And then if an array happens here, if it is an array, and then if inside of that array, it's an object, then we have to use that recursion again. And if not, we can just get the type of at the payload of the first key, right? Because they're pretty consistent and then add these square brackets in the end to identify that it's a, an array. We'll use it on this pretty big object here. I'll just go here. I'll do a type getter at this random user response. And then we can just do a console.log. I'll run this code here. So I'll be in here. LS node on now. What is this type getter? JS. So if I run the type getter, it gives me a huge type file, right? It gives a gender string, name string, title string, first string. So it was a big time saver, but this is great and all, but we need to actually write the file, right? So there are some other functions that we lined it up with. I used type getter and then I used the write types file. Okay, the write types file was the types file. So uh, I send in a file name, type name, and then content. So it takes three parameters. So maybe I'll write those comments here. The file name, it's going to be a string, and that's going to be a string as well. And this is going to be an object. Name a file to be output. Name you want types to be object. Okay, so now it takes that write types file, takes the file name, type name, and content, and returns. It'll make a file. So in the end, I do a bunch of replace to make sure that it gets rid of all the uh, line breaks and stuff like that we did. So uh, if I just write this, right, and then I take, let's just say, I'm gonna do this one. So that's the write types file. And then uh, we had one, one more function to kind of tie it all together. I think it was called make types. So this make types takes a file name, name of file wanted to be output, type name, name of type wanting to be built, and the payload, op payload object to make types for, and then the description function to output type of object to use in the project returns a stringified object with quotes not in there. So let's uh, give it a whirl. I think in the type getter, we had this random user response, make types file, I'll make random user response, and then we'll run make types on here. So we'll just do console.log on make types, and it takes a file name. So let's just call it random user.types.ts, and then the type name will be random user, 
and the payload will be the random user response. Let's try it out here. Node make types dot js out directory from the right. It's defined in the rights in the right types file. So now if I do like this in the out file, I'll have a random users dot type, and then it'll have all the types that we need in the objects inside of the objects. I just save, and then it'll yes, and we'll pick it up, and it'll be a full type file for the random user. So if I actually did like this, right, and then if I went to like random user response, and I press dot, I would have all the auto completion for us. So then like location, and then dot. I could go into street and then dot and I would have all this kind of stuff all auto completed for me but for the TypeScript so I thought it was pretty useful I'll put it up in github so everyone can use it and hopefully it'll be good so it was very awesome to write this uh, function and it was really fun and I thought it was really useful in the time saver so this function that we created it will be used in her career probably for the rest of her career I certainly will use it for myself so create and collect your little treasures for your treasure chest and whether it's functions or boilerplates and share it with others as well. We should all help each other as developers. Remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.